There won't be a public commissioning ceremony or any fanfare for the cameras. Not the sort that usually accompanies the entry into service of a frontline warship. In fact, much like India's first nuclear ballistic missile submarine in Zarihint, known all its life simply by its euphemistic project title Advanced Technology Vessel, this new ship will likely slip into service in silence. Revealed first over two years ago here on Live Fist, the secretive vessel, known only by its mysterious yard designation at Visar VC 11184, will be India's most advanced electronics and tracking surveillance vessel, a missile range, instrumentation ship, and it will be the first ship to be a dedicated element in phase two of India's ballistic missile. Defense BMD set up and also be deployed for duties to support India's strategic weapons program. The build program is being monitored directly by the Prime Minister's office in Delhi. The photograph you see here is the first of the ship being floated out last year. LifeFIS can confirm that VC 11184 is currently in a phase of systems trials and will be handed over to the Indian Navy after sea trials in the summer. The vessel will have on board a specialized team from the Defense Research and Development Organization DRDO and primarily be tasked with missile tracking using two senses, possibly an X-band AESA primary radar and an S-band AESA secondary radar, ranging and electronic intelligence ELINT gathering, making it the first ship of its kind to join Indian service. Only four other countries, the US, Russia, China and France, operate similar vessels. India's state-owned Hindustan Shipyard Limited HSL, a dying institution, was handed the roughly $1 billion contract, 725 crore rupees, on the 25th of February 2013, likely a strategic move. Given that HSL has been well out of India's industrial spotlight for year conducive to building, such a ship in relative secrecy. Originally to have been delivered by August 2015. The build has been delayed for a variety of familiar reasons. Logistical delays in procurement of onboard equipment, propulsion systems and sensors etc. The Indian Navy is not authorized to speak on record about the vessel. Very little is known about the vessel beyond what your correspondent reported here in 2014. What we do know is that the VC 11184 won't be a small ship at 175 meters. It will be among the largest ships in service under the aircraft carriers. Roughly as long as the amphibious landing ship in Jilashwa and Deepak class fleet replenishment tankers. Mars declares step ahead in the